we have three primary manufacturing locations in the central part of the state with uh, an assembly operation in Roxboro, a uh, extrusion operation, kind of a, a precursor to machining operations that happens in the Sanford, North Carolina, and then this location uh, in Medan, uh, where we're at today, is a high volume precision machining operation. Um, GKN has been in the central part of North Carolina since 1980. Uh, these facilities built in the early 80s up until Roxborough facility in the mid 90s. Um, they work together as three manufacturing sites moving material from plant A to B to C um, in a very um, high volume precision machining operation that ultimately ends up manufacturing driveline components, which are drive shafts, half shafts, uh, kind of uh, devices that uh, crawl underneath your car and you're going to see transmitting torque from a, a transmission to whatever wheels are driving on your vehicle, whether it be the front wheels or in, in many cases now all wheel drive. Yeah, our primary manufacturing products are for uh, front-wheel drive cars and all-wheel drive cars. Um, some applications in, in uh, SUVs and trucks, but it's it's the smaller portion of our business. Yeah, at this stage, I'm just looking for the, the drive, the hunger, to learn more things, uh, to have an open mind, and uh, you know, be humble and learn from as many uh, you know experienced folks that are out there. Uh, that's, that's the biggest one. Obviously the aptitude towards engineering and sciences is one that I prefer looking at as well. So if I'm interviewing, I would probably put in a quiz of some sort which would help understand if he's, he or she is leaning towards science and technology or not. I would just add the CAP students here um, need to be able to be very natural um, and very fluid in working in team environments. They have to be, that has to be something that they enjoy doing and do naturally because this is not a very structured, rigid type of deal where you're going to come in and the job is A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. I often say that part of the job is determining what the job is, which means it's not going to be the same next month as it was last month. So you have to have people that have, maybe not, doesn't have to be charming, but have to have enough uh, personality that they're very interested in working with other people mm -hmm. and having a group of two or three people succeed as opposed to an individual. Most things that we're going to do here are big enough that they can't be done by an individual person. So they've got to be able to interact and enjoy, enjoy working with people. The, the reason that GKN joined the CAP program was we realized that the skilled trades is an area within all of the U.S. that's sort of drying up. And so what better way to reach out to these high school children and give them a career opportunity to where they can go to school, they can learn on the job, and hopefully if the company treats them right, they will be employees for many years to come. And so that was the biggest reason was to, for GKN to sort of fill the pipeline for future maintenance techs, future engineering with us being an engineering company. We're just trying to create the future for uh, our company. We do. Uh, each year our CAP students uh, participate in uh, Habitat for Humanity Bill. So there's a community in Alamance County uh, where we partner with uh, Habitat for Humanity and we give our apprentices a chance to participate and help uh, build houses for those that are less fortunate. When, especially Neil and SK, whenever we have the uh, students come in and do the visits, Neil and SK are the ones that are primarily leading the tours, especially Neil. Uh, he presents information to them, telling them about the business so that they have a good understanding of what they're going to see when they go out on the shop floor. And so that's pretty much been our interaction with the CAP, you know. We don't, we don't lead it, but when they come to our facility, we get involved in. So we lead a lot of the tours. When it's time for us to have the families or the parents to come along with them, you'll see us three in the room as the parents are here telling them about the company, letting them know that the environment that their children are about to come into is a safe, 
productive environment to where they should really give it a lot of consideration about making it a future uh, possibility of having a career at this yeah. company.